Hi everyone, it's Lindy on here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today I want to show you a really fun card. We're going to make an edge to edge shaker card, which means there's no border around it. We're going to create this little pouch to hold all of our shaker elements. And we're going to be using products from Lawn Fawn today. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm starting with the Lawn Fawn Outside In Stitch Rectangle Stackables die, and I'm going to take that largest one. And for paper, I'm using the Strathmore Bristol Smooth 100 pound cardstock. So I'll go ahead and run that through my die cutting machine. And now I've placed that panel on my We Are Memory Keepers silicone mat. And I'm using my Distress Oxide Spray, and this is the brand new color Kitsch Flamingo. And I'm going to give that a nice spray. And then I'll come in with a little bit of water from my Distress Sprayer. And I'll spray that pretty generously. I do want that Kitsch Flamingo color to just spread out a little bit and just create some light and dark areas. Then I'll come in with my heat tool and I'll heat set this. We're going to be adding several layers to this. So this is just the beginning. So I know it doesn't look really great right now, but you certainly could just leave it like this if you wanted to. I'm just going to dab off any of the excess around the edges there, and then I'll heat set that. And you can see I'm just dabbing off some of the excess there. Now I'm going to just unscrew the cap from that Kitsch Flamingo Distress Oxide Spray, and I'm just going to spatter that color on here. It's not going to make a really big difference, but it will add a little bit of texture here. Again, I'll just wipe my silicone mat clean and I'll heat set this. So I did heat set in between each of the layers of color that we're going to be adding here. Now I'm coming in with my Kitsch Flamingo Distress dye ink pad. These are the mini dye ink pads and I'm going to put some on my uh, mat and then spritz it with a little bit of water and then I'll just spatter that panel. Again just adding a little bit more texture here. I'll heat set again and then I'm going to come in with the picked raspberry dye ink and I'm going to place some of that on my silicone mat as well. And this is going to give a little bit of a darker tone here. I'll spritz that with some water, grab my brush there, and spatter that. And that's going to add, again, a little bit more of a darker tone here. Now you could certainly stop at any point here. I just like adding and layering up the texture and the colors. So you can stop at any point. Now I'm coming in with my sea salt. This is the Hero Arts Reactive Ink. And I'm just, it's a white ink, and I'm just going to spritz that with a little bit of water and spatter that on. Now that will pick up some of the pink color from behind as well. And I did heat set that. And now I'm coming in with the liquid stardust from Lawn Fawn, and I'm going to go ahead and spritz that with some water, and then I'll spatter this panel one last time. And that's going to add a lot of sparkle here. So again, I did my final heat set. And then I'm going back to that picked raspberry ink and I'm going to just add a little shadow all the way around the edges here just to kind of bring your eye in towards the center. And I'm using my uh, Picket Fence Studio Life Changing Brush to do that blending. And you can see the beautiful texture we have here. This would be great for just about any card. You could just stamp a sentiment right on this and make a one layer card and it would be beautiful. So to clean off the mat, I'm just using a little bit of water and wiping that down. Now I'm going to take the Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth Premium White cardstock and my Spectrum Noir Finesse ink pad in the Noir Black to do my stamping because we are going to be coloring in with the alcohol markers. So I want alcohol friendly products here. So I'm using the this stamp set and the coordinating die and this is the Donut Worry stamp set from Lawn Fawn. I'm going to be using that the little sprinkles and the donut as well. So I'm going to stamp eight of these. Now I did stamp 
one extra at the very end and I'll show you that when we get to the end. So if you are stamping along with me, you might want to stamp one extra one here. So now with aqua blue, gold brown, citrus, hydrangea, pale pink, and dull green, these are all the blends from Spectrum Noir. These are the tri-blend markers. It has a light, medium, and dark color right on the same pen. I'm going to start with the light end. So one end is the light, the middle part of the pen is the medium tone, and the far end of the pen is the darker tone. And they're clearly labeled so you'll know which end is which. So now I'm going to the middle, and I started with that lightest color all over. Then I'm going to go in a little bit, about halfway with the medium tone. And then I'll take that darker end and just go right around those edges there. Then I'll go back to that lighter end and blend that whole thing out. So that's for the frosting. And then for the donut portion itself, I'm going back to that gold brown blend and I'm going to do that same color on all the donuts. And I'm just going to add, again, using the three colors and some shadowing here. And I'll color all of these donuts in the exact same way. So once I had all those colored in, I'm going to add the little sprinkles to the top. I am going to use some permanent ink to do this. I didn't want to use a water-based ink here. So I'm using New Sprout. These are the Memento Dew Drop ink pads. Rosebud. Lulu Lavender, Cantaloupe, which I don't think I ended up using, and Teal Zeal, and I will add a few more colors here in a second. So I'm just going to kind of alternate these colors, mix and match them, and stamp those sprinkles right on top of all these donuts, and this is really fun to do. This just brings these little donuts to life. So again, I'm just mixing and matching all these colors here. And I will list all the colors for all the products I'm using today down below and also on my blog. And there you can see I decided not to use the cantaloupe and I'm using the lilac posies instead. And then I'll add one more color here, and that's the grape jelly. So now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and die cut all these little donuts, and I have the coordinating die. I'll tape it down with a little bit of purple tape, and then I'm going to run that through my Sizzix Sidekick machine. So I went ahead and die cut all of those little donuts. You can see how cute these are. And then I'm using my Lawn Fawn glue tube and I'm gonna glue these down. And you do wanna make sure you glue these nice and flat. So I'm gonna press that uh, glue all around the edges just to make sure that when we create our shaker card, we don't want any of those elements getting behind these images. So I'm gonna make sure that I glue those down and then I'll place a couple acrylic blocks on there just to let those dry. So some of these I'll glue hanging off the edges and we can use the other half that's hanging off to fill in some of the blank areas here at the end. So I'll finish gluing all of these in place. And I let those dry for a minute, and then I'm going to just clip away the excess there. So I'm just trimming off the excess. And again, I'm going to use some of those little pieces left over to fill in the open areas. And one thing I want to mention while I'm gluing those down is that that 
Uh, we are Memory Keeper silicone mat that I was using before to do with the spraying and the heat setting. I did find with that mat that my paper didn't curl up as much as it normally does when I just dry it on my glass media mat. So I don't know. I'll keep you posted on that. I know I said I would uh, tell you more about that mat as we went along, but I do find that it cleans off really easily. And I did find today that it, it didn't seem to curl the paper as much when I was heat setting. And as I mentioned to you before, it seems to hold your ink pad in place when you're doing your blending as well. Again, I'll keep playing around with it. And um, so far, I really have to say that I really love it. So now that those are dry, Again, I'll just clip away any excess here. So our background is complete. And again, you could stop right here and put this on the front of a card with a sentiment and this would be adorable. But we are gonna make our little edge to edge shaker card. So I'm using my quarter inch score tape. And I'm gonna place that around all four sides of this, the back of this panel. I like to use my bone folder to press out that release paper. It just makes it a lot easier to remove later on. So now I've got a piece of plastic here. This is a, a little storage pouch that I have. These are from Avery L. I'm just gonna cut this so that I get two panels out of it. So I'm just, uh, I'm just cutting off the edges here. Now you could use any kind of packaging plastic that you have. You could use acetate. Acetate's a little bit thicker, but it will work just fine. So I'm just gonna use this little storage pouch and I've removed the tape from one side of this panel. And I'm just centering it on this plastic and I'm just gonna bring that edge up. Now, I decided to trim off these corners so it wouldn't get too bulky in the corners here. So I'm just gonna trim these at an angle. And since I had already taped that edge down, I'm just going to kind of reach in there and trim that, but you could certainly trim that before you glue down that, that first side there. But this was no problem just to trim away that excess. So now I'm going to attach just three, three sides of this. We wanna leave one side open to place all our little shaker elements inside. So again, just three sides and I'm bringing those up towards the back here. And now I've got a little pocket to put my little shaker elements in. And this was really fun. I grabbed a whole bunch of glitters that I had. These are from Doodlebug Designs. And I again, I'll list that below. And that came in a set with all those additional colors as well. So I just grabbed all the colors that coordinate here I just wanted to use a whole bunch of these colors. You could certainly just use one color or two, whatever you want to do here. But I kind of felt like the mad scientist here, just kind of experimenting, putting all these in. And this was fun. And I am going to add a few more little elements to this as well. And what's nice about these edge to edge cards is since the whole thing is visible, you really can kind of put a lot of shaker elements in there. Whereas normally you just put a few. So now I've got these little elements as well and I'm gonna use those little ones that look like sprinkles. And this is called Mini, Mini Confetti and this is from American Crafts. So I'm going to just put some of those little sprinkles in there and that'll kind of match up with our little donuts sprinkles as well. And then for a final element, I thought I would just add some clear sequins. These I've had in my stash forever, years probably. So I'm just going to just put a few little clear sequins in here just to add something a little bit heavier and a little, little bit um, more sparkle to this. Not that it didn't have enough sparkle, but I just thought I'd add a little bit more. So you can never have too much sparkle, I guess. So now I'm removing the backing from that end and I'm gonna close this up. So once you feel like you have exactly what you wanted in there, you can close that up. And I love this, this is so much fun. So now that we have that panel, I'm gonna create my sentiment. So I'm taking the largest die and I've placed it on some Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. And this is from the Simple Wavy Banners die set again from Lawn Fawn. 
and I'll run that through my Sizzix Sidekick. It was a little long, so I'm just going to slide it down and run it through again. So I just turned it around and ran it through one more time. So that cut the entire panel. Now I'm taking a little bit of my Tombow tape and I'm just going to attach that to my Mini Misty just to hold that in place while I do my stamping. Now I'm grabbing the sentiment from the Donut Worry set and this says, Donut Worry, Be Happy. And since there's a little bit of curve to this banner, I'm just going to, first I'll just pick these up I'm just sort of getting them into position there. Then I'll pick those up and then I'll just use my finger just to move those around just a little bit so they kind of go along with the wavy portion of this banner. And that just takes a second or two. Then to stamp these, I'm using my Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And I'll stamp that a couple of times. And then I did want to add the little exclamation point, but it's so tiny. I have a really hard time with some of these really tiny ones. So I'm putting it on a little acrylic block. I like to do the exclamation points this way. I just find it a lot easier. And I'm going to stamp that three times. Back to the picked raspberry. And I'm just going to go right around the edges of this little wavy banner. Just to finish off those edges a little bit. So now I'll add some of that Tombow tape runner to the back of this and attach it to this panel. I'm just attaching it right to the front of the plastic there. So now I've got a top folding A2 size card which measures four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm going to put plenty of tape on this. I'm using my Scotch ATG permanent tape runner to do that and that's a nice heavy duty tape. And I'm going to center that on the front of my card. And this is where I decided one more donut. I wanted to add one more little part of a donut here up on the top. Just thought I'd bring that up towards, add a little more dimension by adding this one on top. So I went ahead and stamped and colored that. I'm adding a little bit of that score tape to the back of it and I'll just attach that here. You could add more of these to the top if you want as well. So let me give you a closer look at the finished card and again I had a ball making this. I just think it's so much fun. I love that you can add all these shaker elements inside. And we have that beautiful textured background. So I hope you give this a try. It's a, just another unique take on a shaker card. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed today's video please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit me at pinkwhisperdesigns.com. And also hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Again, thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.